Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're counting down the 10 Sunnyvest and Best Knockouts. Number 10. Sunnyvest and vs Wayne Bethay. On August 6, 1958, Liston beat Wayne Bethay by TKO at 109 in round 1 of 10. Hard. Bethia tries to back off, but Liston is relentless. Liston pours it on. Bethia trying to defend against the two fisted attack. Bethia is hurt, and then Liston gets on a left hook. Bethia gamely tries to hold on. Liston with another left hook, a right, and another left, and Bethia is down. Liston knows he has his man and continues to hammer punches home. Bethia is out on his feet and the referee showing good ring sense stops it. Sonny Liston wins going away. Number 9. Sonny Liston versus Henry Clark. On July 6, 1968, Liston beat Henry Clark by TKO at 2.47 in round 7 of 10. I must understand, he had a good right too. It's a real good Liston round, Howard. He hurt Clark then, with a left. Two good, strong left jabs by Liston. Another left, that one not as strong. That shot really hurt me right now. He was just staggered. This could be the end. Clark comes back punching, but he went halfway through the ropes, as you saw, or quarter way. He buffeted Liston against those ropes and took command, but Liston now has Clark in the corner directly above us. Sonny is fighting. Awesome. He's beaten a bunch of ham and eggers leading up to this fight. Left hand's doing a job right now. Good right hand by Liston. It sure was. That put the staggers in there. Terrible. He's hurt hit. now. He's hurt. Move, get out of there. He is hurt. He's rubbery legs. His eyes are glazed. Let's. This is the seventh round. Both fighters said that this fight would not go past the seventh round, and we've got a minute to Clark go. Clark is badly hurt. Clark is got really hurt. That left hook. He got hurt near the rope. Looks like the end of the ball game. Now Clark backs off. Jeff! Jeff first! Put both hands! It is incredible, really incredible, that Clark is still standing up there. He is taking some beating. Number 8. Sonny Viston vs. Cleveland Williams 1. On April 15, 1959, Liston beat Cleveland Williams by TKO at 2.13 in round 3 of 10. Where Cleveland, of course, has his greater advantage. Sonny Liston. And going now an occasional lead with his right hand. 
Sonny Liston bombing him in there now. Good shot to the head and gone. Ten seconds. When Liston stays in close, he gets all the better of it with Cleveland Williams. Williams at long range, however, uh, to the coaching from his corner now to stay in tight on the big fella. Catches Cleveland Williams and drops him. Williams groggy yet. Listen, moving in now, hunting for the one that can end it. Cleveland Williams battling to stay on his feet. Bang to the canvas again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, he's up at the count of nine. Reels into the corner, and it stopped. Referee Jimmy Perry. Number seven. Sonny Liston versus Cleveland Williams two. On March 21st, 1960, Liston beat Cleveland Williams by TKO at 2.13 in round two of ten. Extraordinary heavyweight fights in the past ten years. In the second round, Williams hit Liston with every punch in the book. Tremendous right hands, jolted up through it all. Then in round three of that first fight, Liston landed a blistering drop in that big left hook. Now it's Liston moving in, looking for a chance to end it here in round two. He lands some blistering punches of his own. Williams, watch Liston come on with a barrage of dynamite punches, trying to end it right here. comes a tremendous overhand right by Liston. Sonny follows it up with a smashing right and left hook to the jaw, which puts Williams down. The count of eight, and Liston wants to finish it. He closes in on Williams in the corner and sends in a volley of rights and lefts to the head. Williams goes down for the second time from that barrage of punches. Williams gets to his feet and the referee examines him closely and decides to stop the fight. Liston moves in, but the referee steps between the two fighters and wisely declares a knockout victory for Sonny Liston. Number 6. Sonny Liston versus Bill McMurray. On March 16, 1968, Liston beat Bill McMurray by TKO at 0:47 in round 4 of 10. A dynamite combination of punches by Sonny Liston. Sonny can take you out of there with either hand. 1965, three years ago, Liston tried to regain the heavyweight championship. Pile driver lefts by Sonny Liston. Ripping punches by Sonny Liston. Liston going after Bill McMurray. Tremendous punches by Sonny Liston. And McMurray goes down from a murderous barrage of punches. The referee picks up the count. It doesn't look like Bill is going to be able to get to his feet. It's all over. The referee stops the fight. Number 5. Sonny Liston versus Dave Bailey. On March 30, 1967, Liston beat Dave Bailey by knockout at 222 in round 1 of 10. Okay, Sonny won the World Heavyweight Championship when he knocked out Floyd Patterson in one round, but two years later, Liston lost the title to Cassius Clay, the Louisville boxing master, in a stunning upset.
Now a crisp right hand of the jaw smashes Bailey down. The referee sends Liston to an upper corner and counts over Dave, but it looks like it's all over. Let's take a look at that knockout in slow motion. Sonny catches Dave in the corner, and as the 7-1 to one underdog comes out, Liston maneuvers him around for his big right hand bomb. What? There it is. Bailey is down and out. One big punch, and Sonny Liston has a victory. Number 4. Sonny Liston vs. Roy Harris. On April 25, 1960, Liston beat Roy Harris by TKO at 2.35 in round 1 of 10. Clinch. Roy has a quick piston-like left hand. Sonny floors Harris with a smashing left hook. Liston goes after Harris and lands a beautiful overhand right, which floors Roy for the second time. Roy goes down again from what appears to be a slip, but gets... Liston moves in with a devastating right to the head, which floors Harris for the fourth time. While Roy is on the canvas, the referee moves in and calls a halt to the fight. Giant-hearted Roy Harris didn't have enough weapons for Sonny Liston. Number 3. Sonny Liston vs. Floyd Patterson 2. On July 22, 1963, defending WBA, NISAC, and the ring heavyweight titles Liston beat Floyd Patterson by knockout at 2-10 in round 1 of 15 and 1 in inaugural WBC heavyweight titles. Number 2. Sonny Liston vs. Albert Westphal. On December 4, 1961, Liston beat Albert Westphal by knockout at 158 in round 1 of 10. Among recent heavyweights, was the left jab that landed, another one pushed Westphal back. Liston taking all those punches from the gloves. Westfall's first punch landing right high in the head, but he got out of there in a hurry. Westfall seems to respect Liston and that left hand. <clears throat> Westfall has 12 KOs. Westfall tries to time up, but gets out of there in a hurry. Westfall missing some of his punches in this first round. Liston making them count. Westfall has never been knocked off his feet until now. That's the first time Westfall has ever been on the floor. Count is six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The fight is over in the first round. Number one. Sonny Liston versus Floyd Patterson one. 
On September 25, 1962, Liston beat defending WBA, NYSAC, and the ring heavyweight titles Floyd Patterson by knockout at 206 in round 1 of 15. Patterson's plan is to get inside Liston's long jab and work on the challenger's butt. Liston's heavy jabs bother Patterson. Patterson's bobbing and weaving make Liston miss often. the first good punch of the fight. The challenger, moving in, the champion shaking off the effect of that left hook. Raising right and a solid left to the cheekbone, drop the champion. Patterson is unable to tie up Liston in the clenches. Final combination, the left, the grazing right, and then a solid left. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.